So today I'm going to talk about um, Hillary Clinton and her, at times, conservative uh, record. And I'm not going to pretend that Hillary Clinton is like a hardcore conservative, that she's going to be just like Ted Cruz, but there are certain things in her record that really indicate she's a lot more conservative than people uh, tend to realize. And speaking of realizations, I just realized my cat is in this video right there. Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> um, refrain from looking at that cat for this whole video. Anyway, Hillary Clinton, um, as we all know, uh, voted for the Iraq War. Um, she voted for the Patriot Act. She voted for the authorization that's basically given um, Bush and Obama authorization to bomb other countries. Um, after Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was launched and uh, it was revealed that there was hidden content in that game that had nudity, she basically uh, called for the banning of this game. Um, she wanted to criminalize flag burning, which is very core uh, First Amendment issue. Um, she was a proponent of the of I consider it a war in Libya that we were in in 2011. She was a proponent of bombing Syria. Um, not this most recent round, the round where we would bomb it be, with our enemy being Assad, not ISIS. Um, which we all know would have been a failure. Pretty much everybody now acknowledges that. Um, as Secretary of State, uh, the State Department was for the Keystone Pipeline, and Hillary's now equi uh, equivocating on uh, this trade issue. But as Secretary of State, she was totally for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, at least the State Department was. Um, she came out for gay marriage in 2014. Or maybe it was 2013, to be fair to her. I can't remember if it was 2013 or 14. Um, there have been, I'm just going to, I'm not going to name any names, but there have been other candidates who have been in favor of gay marriage far longer on the Democratic side. Um, she voted for the bailout while... Like I said, there are other people in the race who didn't. Um, you know, in fact, the Clintons were known for uh, being the third way of politics. It was a product of the Democratic Leadership Council in the late eight, 1800s, <laughs> the late 1980s, uh, which argued that Democrats should be more business friendly and conservative. It was the Clintons who really took that idea to the mainstream. And I don't think it's been a good idea. Um, we can't forget that Bill Clinton, and I don't know if Hillary shares this view. I see no reason why she wouldn't share this, share this view at the time. Um, he signed into law the repeal of Glass-Steagall, which, which basically led to the 2008 crash. So that's, that's horrible. <laughs> that's as bad as it gets. It really is. And if we're going to give her credit for what her husband did, then we need to give her criticism. He signed into law the Defensive Marriage Act, which was unconstitutional. And he signed into law this Religious Freedom Act, which was the grounds to uh, to gut the birth control provisions of uh, the Affordable Care Act. So, yeah, I'm not... If we're giving her credit for Bill Clinton's achievements, we got to give her fault. I mean, it's all or nothing. If we don't want to give her credit for Bill Clinton's achievements, then fine. What I said doesn't stand. But her record as, as a senator and secretary of state does, 
and it's a conservative record. It just is, especially on uh, foreign interventionism. I mean, I was just at a rally where she said basically that uh, that she's <laughs> she's not about negotiating with Putin. She's about intimidating Putin. It's like, these aren't really good. That isn't really something you should be bragging about. Uh, it's in every nation's interest to get along with each other. And you sound just like a Republican. You really do when you say something like that. Um, and I feel like we've got enough of Republican policies from a Democratic president with Obama, quite honestly. Um, and, you know, the fact remains, what did Bill Clinton do when he got a Republican Congress? He capitulated time and time again to the Republicans. If Hillary's elected president, she's probably going to have a Republican Congress. Do you think she is going to do any of the things she's saying she's going to do now? How is she going to do it? I'd like to know, because if past is any indication, the two people she's most affiliated with, Obama and Clinton, have just full-blown capitulated to the Republicans. And I don't see how she'd be any different if her two closest political associations are that way. I just don't see it. She has a conservative voting record. There's no getting around it. She vote. She also voted for the Patriot Act. People forget about that. Uh, she basically was in favor of the mass surveillance. She wanted Snowden tried in courts. Uh, she wanted Julian Assange tried with the whole WikiLeaks debacle. These are not liberal ideas. You know, she claims she's for uh, getting money out of politics, and she's about to raise $1 billion at least for her campaign. What she is is basically a hypocrite. And is she better than the Republicans? Of course she is. Of course she is. Is she better than Obama? She might be. I don't know. I supported her in 2008 because I thought I thought she would be. I thought she'd give more of a fight to the Republicans. Um, I still think that's the case, but I, but I think ultimately she'll she'll just sell out the Democrats like the previous two Democratic presidents we've had. Um, it just seems to be almost preordained. And as f and trade policy is another example. Um, her husband passed NAFTA and she really hasn't come out against TPP in the way I originally thought she did. She didn't say she necessarily opposed it. Um, she's trying to have it both ways, which is honestly something the Clintons have done throughout their whole political lives. So basically, you can call this my anti-Hillary Clinton video. I just call it an honest look at what she's done. Anyway.